Now, there won't be any change to the three-piece design of the next-generation ERP systems onboard unit for cars. The Transport Ministry has confirmed this following a Facebook post from Minister Ong Yi Kang. He says the Land Transport Authority has gone with the best option to replace the old ERP system and is now contractually bound. Mr Ong adds authorities will have to see how to do this better next time. The issue caught the attention of motorists after it was announced on Tuesday. Mr. Ong also explained that heat has been the main issue in the design process, with contractors opting for a three-piece unit to prevent overheating the processing unit on a hot day, and by tucking it under the dashboard as a separate module. Mr. Ong says it also avoids the need for a big cooling unit. He also addressed concerns about the size of the new display, clarifying that it's only slightly larger than the current in-vehicle unit. Some experts say the design of the new unit should take into account maintenance and tackle the fundamental issue of keeping the processing unit cool. It is possible to combine all three parts into one device, like in the case of our tablet or our smartphones. However, there may be some operational and maintenance concerns. Consideration should be having all three components separate may allow for future replacement and the upgrade of each component separately, which may be more cost-effective than having all change three components at once. So uh, this change in design right, will require, will involve delay uh, yeah, if we really change the design, right? Because it's the whole supply chain. You cannot just change design and everything just, even if it's minor change, it's already decided and maybe we look forward to a uh, version two of this OBU later on.